Good morning. How should the believer live? We're studying the, the short epistle of 2 John, and today we're looking at the fourth verse. Let's read it. Here's what it says. I rejoiced greatly that I have found some of your children walking in truth, as we have received commandment from the Father. Now, there are two main sections in this epistle. One is verses 4 to 6, and the other is verses 7 to 11. So we're starting in one of the main sections here now. To put things in current terms, God is live-streaming his kingdom into this rebel world. And each believer is one of those live streams. Each believer is a channel. And the streams are going out. The evidence, these live streams are evidence for the kingdom. Do believers bring good into this world? Or just the regular, do they just bring the regular mixture of bad and worse things into the world? John is very happy when he sees the good live streams out there. He's very happy when he sees real Christians living the truth, doing, doing real Christianity. The world needs that. And John is glad that these people, these members of this small congregation, some of them, he says, I, I can tell you some of them are living it right. And that brings joy to John. Now, John says here, I have found, I have found of your children walking in the truth. So he's considering the live streams. And he says, there are some good ones here. There are some people here who represent what Jesus stands for. Now, their lives are imperfect echoes of Jesus. All of our lives are only imperfect echoes of Jesus. But at least they're echoes of Jesus. At least we are growing towards heaven. At least God is building us, and we are becoming less and less selfish as we allow his Holy Spirit to work in us and change our hearts. So there are real witnesses out there really living it. Imagine that, side by side with you in this world, in this world, not in a fantasy world, not in a video, there are real people down the street somewhere who are real Christians. Got to take that into account in our lives. Now, the members of the congregation are also called children. He says, I've seen of your children walking in truth. And this, this is, reminds you of the, you know, the parent and the child. What is the task of the parents? The parents is to, are to bring the children toward maturity, to help them grow, to nurture them, to, to bring them along to full maturity. And the leaders of a church, of a congregation, they are responsible to help the members of that church grow. And so he says, this, the elect lady, this, this church over the way, wherever it is, Members of that church are, are growing. They're children. They see this, and they are being nurtured. Church, is, church can be unhealthy, I know, but a real church is very, very healthy, just like a real family, a, a, a good, well-functioning, godly family. Can't beat it. It's the best thing out there for people. And so even though we see some bad examples or we think we see some bad examples, Hey, we need to remember there are some good examples out there, too. John says this one is one of the true ones. Now, here comes John's main point at verse 4. He says, I've seen of your children walking in the truth. These believers are walking in truth. There is truth in this world, and it is accessible to people. We can actually find the truth. We can get to the truth. We don't have to make everything up as we go. We don't have to step in every random pothole or on any random landmine because we're just, we're just wandering our way through. And if there is a truth, there is right and wrong. And if there's right and wrong, that means there are going to be true Christians and there are going to be some antichrists out there as well. You get the good and the bad, the true and the false. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, Yes, we know there are some bad examples out there. There are things that would make people question whether Christianity is real, but also, Lord, side by side with these uh, terrible examples, there is the true, and we need to keep our eyes peeled and open, and Lord, we thank you for this example. There are antichrists, there are false believers, hypocrites, but there's also some true ones. Lord, we want to be true ourselves. We don't want to be hypocrites. Build up your church. Strengthen us, Lord, to be, to be on your side and your team, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's you and I walk in the truth today. God be with you.